Um, I'm Eliana Andrews. Thank you, Senate Chair Prozanski and members of this committee. I thank you for having me today to discuss why SB 978 is so important to me and many of my friends. My name is Eliana Andrews. I'm a student who attends a public high school, and that means that every month we go through what is called a lockdown drill. We have lockdown drills often because in our society, we have witnessed so many mass shootings that they have become so normalized. At this point, which we have to prepare that a school shooting could happen, I assume that many of you have never been in a lockdown or a lockout. <laughs> it is one of the most terrifying things to go through and live through day to day. Over the school speakerphone, you hear a person saying, lock lights out of sight, or lockdown, secure the perimeter. Over and over again, you sit in the dark corner of your classroom with your friends and classmates. Everyone is too shocked, worried, and scared and confused to even speak. Everyone is frantically texting their parents, saying that something could happen to them and letting them know that they love them. After going through a lockout or a lockdown drill, you walk away like it is merely nothing. But the emotional scar is left behind, having to go through something like this lasts forever. The fact that we as a society have seen so many mass shootings and the only solution we have is to try and get less people killed by a gun is by being prepared for it to happen. This is absurd to me. We cannot start act we cannot start acting like fire drills and lockdown drills are the same, when in reality they are not. I am not here today to take anyone's Second Amendment rights away. I just want to feel safe in school and in my community. I strongly believe that raising the minimum age to buy a gun would stop mass shootings like the one that we saw in Parkland, Florida last year. Sometimes it is hard to fathom the reality of how easily accessible a weapon can be to those who want to commit violent acts. And the first step to start beginnings with passing sensible gun safety bills to help our communities, schools, and places of worship can begin to feel safer. Who'd like to go next? 